Maritime Made on Eastlink is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Working with companies across Nova Scotia to be more successful exporters every step of the way. LED roadway lighting has had a successful history of developing and distributing highly efficient light emitting diode or LED streetlights to customers around the world. These LED streetlights have helped cities reduce light pollution, power use and greenhouse gases. This clean tech company has now established a new innovative division called Livable Cities. Livable Cities make a smart tech sensor that mounts to the top of an LED streetlight. The smart sensor has the ability to collect many different types of data, such as the speed and volume of traffic or the levels of air pollution in the air. The sensor communicates the data it collects to software that generates reports to help a city make smart, informed decisions. The sensors can even detect when a car is going by and adjust the light levels. We're, we're an innovative uh, company, that's what we, that's what drives us every day, that's what, when people come to work every day is, you know, what can we do next, What's, what solutions can we provide to our customers. LED roadway lighting, we founded that back in, uh, in 2007. Um, the history of the manufacturing operation goes back to 1973, so a lot of, actually when you get out on the manufacturing floor, you're going to see people that have worked here since 1973. So we have a long history here of building high reliability electronics. That led us into the LED street light market as LED roadway lighting. We developed a world-class LED street light that we've exported to over 65 countries. The natural progression of that now is into the Livable Cities product line. And that is all about microsensing and connected products and connecting municipalities and cities and utilities so that they have a more safe and secure and resilient environment. To begin, each sensor requires a circuit board, which is assembled according to what that sensor will monitor. The boards shown here are speed radar boards. They'll be combined in a radar sensor housing further down the line. A board is fed into the machine where electrical components are mounted to the board. Next, a machine with two fast-moving arms applies additional control parts to the board, according to the design specifications. The board is then inspected and additional parts are applied by hand. The board then moves on to a soldering oven where a high temperature controlled process of soldering is undertaken. Employees monitor the 13 stage process to be sure all solders will hold up in extreme exterior conditions. The board is ready to be installed in its housing along with other control parts needed for its operation. The main control mechanism is put together in large part by skilled employees doing things that machinery cannot do. Capacitors, resistors, connectors, transformers and transistors are all meticulously placed by hand. Once these parts are placed, they go through a wave soldering oven where they are firmly soldered into place under high heat. The soldering job is inspected when it emerges from the oven. The controller assembly is then inserted into a controller base, where it sits in an interface. This controller is the brains behind the control, data and computing mechanisms for the sensor units. Radio components are then installed for data transmission, a transmitter and a receiver. Then the unit is set up for proprietary transmission for each customer. It's scanned and labeled with a unique ID for that customer. The controller assembly is then tested for operational accuracy. During this interim test, it's put through the paces. Tests are run on accuracy of circuitry voltage load, current, power, and load capacity is measured. Next, the control unit undergoes a high-frequency ultrasonic welding procedure. The unit is completely enclosed and sealed and won't allow any exterior intrusion when mounted on a light stand 40 or more feet in the air, even in the most challenging environments. As a further quality control, the weld is examined under a microscope. Then a leak seal test is done. The computer graph shows the test results. Once accepted, the unit is certified labeled and boxed. 
The, uh, the leading edge technology that we're bringing out to the market is a, a optical uh, vision system through a 1080p uh, camera that will sit uh, in the controller on top of the luminaire and uh, it will be able to provide customers with super high accuracy counts uh, as well as provide safety and security through video and, and still shots. So that is going to change uh, the way that uh, traffic engineers uh, collect and gather data and use that data to make the, uh, to reduce traffic and to make decisions around how traffic flows within a city or a municipality. The radar board which we saw being built earlier is now ready to be applied to a radar sensor. The board is put in the radar housing along with the unit's microsensing technology. This provides the controller with a wide variety of information from multi-sensors sending out information. There are two boards. One is the antenna board and the other is this microsensing brain board. Once assembled, the housing is tested in an anechoic chamber to calibrate its output. Then, it's tested to be sure the unit operates within the parameters of Doppler radar. Similarly, an air quality sensor housing is assembled by another employee. A particulate matter counter is inserted with a board. This counts pollution levels. Components are loaded into the housing, then mounted on the controller. These innovative products are designed and manufactured right here in Amherst, Nova Scotia and are used worldwide in over 60 countries. You know, to be here locally in, in Nova Scotia and the, the fact that we have a world-class uh, container pier in Halifax, we've got international airports both in New Brunswick and in Nova Scotia and Halifax. Um, we're right on the Trans-Canada Highway, so the access to transportation and trucking of our goods um, makes it very easy for us to export our product globally. Um, We've been fortunate enough to export product to over 65 countries around the world and we continue to do that every day. Product is leaving our factory and shipping globally and uh, to be able to do that here in Nova Scotia is, is pretty special. And our vision is you know, to be a global leader in energy efficient products and deliver micro sensing out to, to our customer base and globally around the world.